Today is a bittersweet day as I am packing up and getting ready to fly home to Canada to be with my sister for the birth of her first baby. Which means <laughs> I am in control and I'm going to be living in this van alone in Mexico. Making decisions alone. We are stuck. I'm cooking alone. I almost guarantee I'm gonna freak out. Eating alone. He loves being alone. <laughs> I'm gonna challenge Eamon because I know him well enough to know he's gonna be surrounded by people this whole time. So at least 24 of these hours. I might go crazy. Spend them alone. They'll be good for you. <laughs> I'll miss you guys. This morning has started like most mornings here in La Ventana. Slow coffee dates. Hey, yes, sir. Oh. Group workouts. Oh, that's a good one. Good breakfast. Don't forget your B12 too. And things have gotten very comfortable. Uh, your dishes are washed, sir. Oh, thanks, mate. But today, I'm going solo. Oso's hopefully coming with me, but he just took off down the beach. Oso! Hola, Oso! Thanks for walking my dog this morning. No problem. Took a big poop. He walks our dog for us. Come on! Good boy. You hot? Sit. This is my new family. Sarah. Beans, Nick, Hola. Talo, and we got one more to the fam. Tope. Hey, Topito. <laughs> Tope was found on the side of the road. Nick and Beans probably saved his life. So they are looking for a new home for him. They've got a couple people interested. But if you're interested, I'll leave up their Instagram and you can get in touch with them. Good news, Tope's actually been adopted, but we're gonna be helping a lot more puppies. More info coming soon. Hey, Os, you want some yum yum? You want some yum yum? Went to the farmer's market yesterday. This lady was selling homemade dog food. Looks gross, but the big boy loves it. Good boy, Oso, good boy. Throughout this video, I'm going to highlight some advantages and disadvantages to solo man life. But first, I gotta clean up my house. Nice. I would say we've got about an 80 to 90% chance we are stuck. Hey guys, one more thing before you go. I got you. This is not the first time. Casa B is not meant for the sand. Love you. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Peace, homies. Hello. I literally have nothing planned, so let's go. All right, there's actually two things I really wanted to get done today. Both of them involve a mechanic. One of them is mainly for him. It blows, but it's not cold. Like, listen, when you're turning. Amigo! La grande, perro. Si. <laughs> okay, also, let's go. You, you knocked the camera over, buddy. You're ruining all my shots. Can't really pretend I knew everything he was saying, but I think it's like a axle kind of thing and he can maybe do it tomorrow. That's one option, but he can't do it till Saturday. It's Thursday. There's another one 10 minutes away. Woo, I'm missing you, baby. Usually my co-pilot, organizer, she gets me drinks. Now I'm on my own. Meanwhile, here in Canada, we haven't seen the sun in a few days, and my sister is five days late. Five. Five whole extra days with baby in her belly, so if you have a recommendation on how to get it out, Something unique. We tried everything else online, so something different. How do you say my air conditioning is not cold? Uh, mi mi ara air, condition, air conditionado no frío. Are you gonna need some gas? Or something? Yeah, I think. Do you have freon? It's working. There is blowing, but no freon. No frío. Okay. You have something for this? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Found the right guy. How are you? How are you? I'm aiming. Also, you're gonna love this, my dude. We should have done this weeks ago. Mucho frío. The radiator uh -huh. or the air conditioner is broken. That's the reason that you lost all the. Oh, you gas. can see. 
Might have celebrated that one a little early. That does not sound good. This is something I've noticed for the past couple days, especially when turning around when the wheel is really tight. You can hear that kind of grinding, and I originally thought it would have been some kind of steering fluid, but what do you think? Idler pulley. Uh, okay, well, that was wildly unsuccessful. Uh, apparently, it's some kind of pulley system that is vibrating a lot. Oh, and the AC doesn't work. <laughs> so, I need a new radiator and a new pulley. It's hot, man. I wish that AC was working, eh, big boy? You're being a good boy, also. You're gonna get extra yum yum tonight. I think we're going to La Paz. There's uh, usually a guy that comes out to fill up. Also, do you think I gotta go up there and pay first? Just me and my good boy on the open road, also. Hey, dude, you're gonna need to move over. All right, my last stop before I leave La Ventana is this little grocery market. I'm gonna stock up on some food. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm going. But they got some good fresh stuff here. They even got broccoli, like in the freezer. That's lettuce. Broccoli. I did well. Got all this for like 700 pesos. This organic popcorn is like most of that. Oh! Also, that slaps. Good boy. Spoiler alert, we're not in La Paz. Uh, this road is probably not good for that pulley. I'm at a dead end. That road just ended. Careful. Good boy. Well, I gotta be honest, this is not the spot I was thinking. Well, maybe it is the spot I was thinking, but it's way more developed. We were here four years ago and none of these houses were here. And we had like direct access to the beach. And there is just no way my two wheel drive sprinter is gonna get through this. Hey, us? Like zero chance. Oh yeah, in regards to like the whole La Paz fixing the vehicle situation, it's already three o'clock, so I figured I'd camp for the night and then venture to La Paz tomorrow and deal with it. A pickle. I feel like a big reason I should be home and with my sister during this time is just to be able to support her through all of the many emotions and hormones that come with giving birth. And what I've come to realize is that looking after myself is the best way that I can look after my sister and everyone else around me. So I just wanted to say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's done 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. You will then be matched with the right therapist from their network and you choose how to communicate, whether that's text, phone call, or video chat. Essentially with BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you know from in-person therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you, more flexibility in your scheduling, and at a more affordable price. For 10% off your first month with BetterHelp, you can visit betterhelp.com slash Eamon and Beck. Back to Eamon in Mexico. Pretty amazing spot, but you gotta keep an eye on your dog. It's a lot of deadly things along this beach. Like this, puffer fish. Oh, dude, you're cool. Oh, so it's not a toy, no. Well, there's the top of the mic. Leave it. The wind quality sucks now, it's his fault. I think that's actually a... Uh, confirmed. Jeez. This road just disappears. And it gets really soft. We're hitting dead ends on dead ends here, guys. Sorry, big boy. Gotta turn around again. 
I'm not risking that. Amigo, uh, lighthouse. It's just a way of life. No matter what they say, you know at least you try. You are my universe. You are my space and time. Whatever comes around, you're always on my mind. The location we ended up with is the Punta Arena Lighthouse. And it's pretty quiet, there's a couple locals, but other than that, this will be a great spot to camp tonight. You've been a good boy, my co-pilot. Even though I'm pretty sure you might have broken this microphone. Test. Can you hear me? Well, I'm exhausted. I'm not even sure what happened today. It's 5 o'clock. I guess mainly I'm exhausted from all the decisions you have to make solo, and I guess I take that for granted when I'm traveling with Beck. All those decisions that are in your head and you're deciding by yourself, you've no one to bounce off of. Do I go to La Paz? Should I not go to La Paz? Should I risk it? And should I stay? What should I do today? Should I get groceries? Should I eat out? It's a lot of decisions every day. I didn't realize how much I like having a partner to weigh in and make the decision together. It's probably good for me to do. Spend a little time on my own. What do you want? Down. Wait. Okay. Hey guys, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Hi everybody, I miss you. <laughs> you're on, baby, you're on. I'm on. I'm over here in cold Canada. Hope you're enjoying Mexico. And if you want to check out my sister, hold on two seconds. No baby yet. No baby yet. And baby, we haven't forgot about you because we've been literally talking about you the whole day. Aww. Also, come say goodbye to mama. Come say goodnight to mama. That's a good boy. Oh, he's looking for me. Oh, there's another dog over there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful evening we are working with. We are going to make a spicy tomato gnocchi. All in one pot because I don't have a lot of water and I don't want to use a lot of dishes. Also, you stay. You got a buddy there? Look how beautiful this spot is. Damn. This is pretty sick. I am really not happy with the choice in this van to do induction cooking. It just uses too much power, even with 600 watts of solar. We find we can't charge fast enough, even with sun all day. This is my temporary solution. It's a little sketchy, as you'll see. Beats running out of power. This is a little too sketch. I got a better idea. Oh no. Abort. I don't think that's going to work. Just going to have to be very careful here. I was going to do a whole cooking scene, but now that I've got this thing this high and I'm trying to get the camera angle and I only got one man to help me. And it's very hard to film solo at this height. So I don't know if you're supposed to like boil gnocchi separately sometimes, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw that sauce in there and hopefully it cooks. See that? The way the power is... The water pump is pulsing the lights. That is not good. I swear, if this thing freaking tips. Yeah. Oh, sh <sighs> that was gonna be delicious. I can almost guarantee I'm gonna freak out. Chili garlic sauce. Kinda looks like a storm's blowing through. Okay, a little Jeep would be pretty sick. I feel like this is a little less risk. This is kinda like a soup now. I added too much water. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of the Mama's Noki Soup from our cookbook, which I know a lot of you love and tag us in constantly, but it's okay. I wouldn't make it again. <laughs> and we're checking in to make sure you're safe. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty safe, I think. Th those guys that we just left from this morning are literally across the bay. This is La Ventana. You can see the lights. 
No, I definitely don't see it. No, just pretend for the video. Just like, oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely. Yeah, I see, yeah. I see a flashing light going on and off. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> so if you guys want to, like, hang out tomorrow, like, give me a call or something. Uh, I think we're actually busy, but. <laughs> we just got rid of you. I know where you're going. Yeah, are we going to. It's also kind of lonely for us, too, that you're not here, you know? Aww, I'm glad you feel the same way. Do you want to come meet us back here? No, I'm, I'm, I gotta stick it out. I gotta prove it to myself that I can spend 24 hours alone. Okay. I think by the time 24 hour rolls around, I'll, I'll, I'll need to hang out. All right, homies, miss you guys. Is it cheating if I just call my friends all the time? Nobody wants to hang out with me. Turns out my soup is pretty good. Does anybody else do that while you're putting away the last little bit of food? Like you just can't help yourself anymore. If you're still not making overnight oats, or if you've never had overnight oats, you're sleeping. Oh. Milk, chia, frozen fruit. Gotta be the easiest, most delicious thing of all time. Add a bit of protein in the morning, maybe some banana, done. Get on it. Anybody gonna pause the video and go set one for tomorrow? Or not, that's cool. Mr. CP. Okay, so dude, are you gonna come in? Good boy, up you get. Say goodnight to everyone. Oh, by the way, back, I have completely made the executive decision. We no longer sleep with a top sheet. It's a complete waste of time. It's just a stupid sheet that always ends up in a ball anyway. And another sheet to wash and maintain. Also agrees. All right. Closing thoughts for the day. I don't like being alone. <laughs> Something I've always struggled with. I think it's a blessing and a curse. I know exactly where it comes from, Mom. But I wouldn't change it for the world. It makes me who I am. Days like today are good for me. You know, it makes me sit in my own thoughts a little more and make my own decisions. Maroni FaceTime video. Bro. Yo, are you sleeping, bro? No, I was just signing off the vlog with like a really nice poetic thing and you ruined it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Peace. Peace and love. Sorry about the vlog again. I won't call you anymore. <laughs> Peace. Um, yeah, but basically, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> I'm going to bed. Come on, Rich. Wait. Okay. Well, to continue our conversation from last night in regards to decisiveness, I've made a plan. We got three things I want to get done today. Maybe four. Hey, no, sit. We're working on his fetch. He's really good at getting it and coming back. The dropping part is a struggle, but we got some food. Yes, good boy. Good boy, sit. Yes, good boy. Fetch. Good boy. Yes. I guess we're done with that for today. I wouldn't normally recommend this, but I've got like a 30 minute drive down this very slow, bumpy road. So I'm actually watching the edit on the last week's video. Not recommended unless you're on an open road with no one else going. Well, every day is certainly not the nine same. kilometers an hour. Oh, so sit, sit, good boy, good boy, sit. Nope, good boy. What happened to the road? I haven't done laundry in like three weeks. These sheets, they're getting like sticky, you know? There's only so much salt water they can handle. Laundry here in Mexico is an absolute pleasure. You pay a very affordable price, less than $20, probably more like $10. And you pick it up the next day, folded, ready to go back in your wardrobe. <laughs> Okay, gracias. Okay.
Good boy. Next. Uh-oh. Fill up on water. This cannot be good for my van. To be honest, I haven't showered in a few days. I was going to stop and have a shower and a few more errands, but I'm just going to go to the beach, go to the ocean. Hola. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 And to be honest, I miss hanging out with my friends. I'm a people person. Yes, sir. Life's better with people. <laughs> There's something in your tooth, you know that, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> Bro, we gotta redo this. I didn't notice it. Come on. We gotta do another tattoo. Yeah. Cut. All right, we're doing this. So this will be my second tattoo in a van, but first one where the artist is sitting on a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> See you Sunday. <laughs>